Isn't the idea of marrying your father a terrible idea? Well, not for this girl. Hey guys, what's happening? Dave Waffle here. Welcome to I.O. character traits from your parents do you have? I have my dad's laugh from time to time. Let me know what you genetically got down there. So we're talking about this 18 year old girl who was separated from her dad for like 10 friggin years. And normally when people are separated for like 10 years they kind of have some resentment. They're like oh man where was my dad this entire time? But for this girl she went completely the opposite way and she fell in love with him. That's right I said it. The two that met when she was 17 years old are now planning to get engaged. Engaged. I don't know about you guys, man, but this is making me want to throw up. Don't do this. Just don't do this. This is a bad idea. I mean, I sure hope she doesn't want to have kids because incest is disgusting. Uh, Dave, bad news. She does want to have kids. Oh, no! So in a direct quote, she says she was meeting him for the first time when she was 17 years old. And immediately she was like, oh, he's kind of good looking. Yeah, because girl, there are not like a million other people that you could probably meet that are also good looking as well. And did you guys know she lost her virginity to her dad and now she's in love with him? Now you're probably wondering yourself, wait, what about the mom? Why isn't the mom in the know about this? Well, she doesn't know. As a matter of fact, they're trying to keep it a secret until they move to New Jersey where they can get married legally. And you're also probably thinking, wait a minute, this is so ronky donkey dink. They want to have kids? What about the genetic screw-ups? Well, in her own words, she says this. I won't risk having a kid if I thought it would be harmful. I've done my research. I've done my research? So what, like reading a book or looking at a couple things online is really going to solve the problem? She also went on to say, incest has been around as long as humans have. Everybody just needs to deal with it just as long as nobody gets hurt. Great argument, but let's see. What else has been around for as long as humans have? The flu, wars, crime, bullying, the ability to not think before you act or just flat out think with your dick or vagina. She also said that the two of them have made a decision not to ever tell their future children that their dad is also their grandfather. Yay! Because that's another thing that's been around since the dawn of mankind. Lying. And we all know how great that solves problems. So anyways, guys, girls, team waffles, and of course overloaders out there, I want to know your thoughts on this. What do you think it's right or wrong? Or if you're like me and you're gonna go throw up right now so thanks for watching keep it real keep it classy keep it on the flip side out there in the real world later